So let's discuss cavitation. What is cavitation? Why it occurs and how it can be avoided. Okay. Cavitation is caused by formation of vapor bubbles in high velocity, low pressure region. This is the basic uh, thing to understand. A pump is pumping fluid from one place to another. There will be high velocity. If we are pumping it to very far away place, okay, so there will be a long length of pipes in between. So a low pressure reason may be there in between somewhere. By the subsequent collapse, when the bubble moves to higher pressure reason, then cavitation occurs. Okay, when we will be having high velocity. Okay, if there are low pressure reason in between from start to end point, then bubble forms and when those bubbles enter from low pressure reason to high pressure reason then cavitation occurs they collapse and cavitation occurs the cavitation can cause excessive erosion and vibration once the cavitation is there inside the system it can cause erosion of the pipe and vibration of the system with moderate cavitation if a small amount of cavitation is there in centrifugal pump the pump will sound as though it is pumping gravel or a slurry of sand and gravel it will create unnecessary sound in the system with moderate cavitation if the level of cavitation is severe then it will cause the discharge pressure to fall and become erratic highly erratic and produce both flow and pressure pulsation okay if the level of cavitation is very high then it can cause all these problems now let us discuss why this cavitation occurs some cavitation can result from insufficient available NPSH in last slide we have discussed what is NPSH available and required one so if insufficient NPSH is there then it will cause pump cavitation cavitation occurs when required is larger than available whatever is required is more than the available one then cavitation will occur cavitation reduces the performance of pump causes vibration or noise and corrodes the material therefore minimize pressure loss on pump piping and care shall be taken to avoid drifting of the nozzle okay that's why we discussed the suction line should be minimum in length high pump suction velocities and long piping increase pressure fluctuation in the system as we have discussed in the starting high velocity and low pressure reasons will be there because of long pipe okay, in between source to destination point so whenever there is this kind of situation pressure fluctuation in the pumps then it will cause cavitation vacuum system seems more prone to unpredictable cavitation than pressure system cavitation is more found in the vacuum systems so this is all about cavitation this occurs why it occurs and how we can avoid it so basically we can avoid it by minimizing the suction length that's why we go for uh, straight length in pump suction lines which we will discuss in coming slides so this is a list of fundas which we have already covered under a two minute funda series where we are trying to cover the topic within two minutes in few cases it is exceeding more than two minutes but we are trying our best to cover it within two minutes okay we are covered we have recently started this series under the same uh, oil and gas funda knowledge sharing platform earlier we had covered uh, our 14 topics along with 62 videos okay now we have covered uh, we have started this series two minute funda and we have added more than 100 videos here so into all together we have uh, more than 200 videos now i'm sure you are watching it under standard and hd format along with the subtitles many more are on the way so stay tuned i'm sure you are enjoying the videos so see you in the next part